Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AND operator. So the AND operator works on a binary level. Even if you specify a number, for example, you will literally get the binary equivalent of that number and you'll perform the operation. You could specify a binary value directly if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. So let me, first of all, let's do a quick recap on what the AND operation is. So I'm going to do... do, 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 do 8-bit number, so 128, 64, 32, 68, 42, and 1. Okay, so if we have, let's do the number 8, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so that's the number 8. If I have the number, let's say 28, so that's 0, 0, 0, 0, not 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. If you do the AND operation on here, it goes from the right and it says 0, 0. For the AND operation, both of the bits have to be 1 or on. For it to result in one otherwise if only one is on then it will result in a zero so what this will result in uh, i'll just quickly write it just you know due to you know the format but again you will go from the right and uh, this will be zero this will be one this will be zero let me explain so you do zero and zero both are zeros we get zero zero and zero both are zeros we get zero zero and one we need both of them, both bits to be one, so we get zero. But one and one, both of them are on, aka one, so we get one. And it's the same principle throughout. So if you do the AND operation on eight and twenty-eight, you will get the number eight. That doesn't mean you're always going to get the smallest number. You might just get a totally different number altogether. Because for example, for example, if this was a one, this will be a one now, and we get. It's, again, it's probably not the best example, but I think you understand what I mean. You're not always going to get the same number. We're going to use this example, and what we're going to do at the moment is just print out all of Hello World. We're going to move into the ESP register because it's not being used by anything. The number, what was it? It was 8 and the number 28. So 8. Then we're, in, we're going to move into the EBP register. The number 28 to do the and operator you just do and then you specify two operands the first one has to be basically a storage container like a register because the value of the resulting and operation will be stored in there so we put esp ebp you could specify a number directly instead of ebp i was going to put ebp i run that we'll get no errors and if i put esp now we should only have eight characters printed. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's that simple. That's all there is to using the AND operator. Feel free to experiment with it. I highly recommend that you do. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.